Hello everyone. In this topic nutrition, I am going to discuss about what is nutrition, what is calorie, calorific value, and what are the components required to calculate the energy required for a person per day, and then the significance of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins in the diet, and after that. the nutritional conditions under nutrition and over nutrition and the significance of the balanced diet and now coming to calorie and calorific value so first what is calorie the energy content of food is expressed in the form of calories so calorie can be defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 g of water Through one degree centigrade, as it is a very small quantity, so in order to express the energy content of foods, nowadays we use kilo calories instead of calorie. So one kilo calorie is equal to thousand calories. And the calorific value of carbohydrates is four kilo calories per gram. So that means one gram of carbohydrate generates four kilo calories. same way fats 9 kilo calories per gram proteins 4 kilo calories per gram so this is also expressed in kilo joules so that we do not generally use so we are concerned with this kilo calories per gram and when you see the calorific value of carbohydrates fats and proteins fat has more calorific value because it is more reduced than carbohydrates and proteins so another term respiratory coefficient uh, this is simply a ratio of carbon dioxide produced to the volume of oxygen utilized during the oxidation of the foods for example when you see the carbon dioxide produced and oxid oxygen utilized for the oxidation of carbohydrates it is equal to 1 so rq of carbohydrates is 1 whereas fats is 0.7 and proteins is 0.8 mixed diet it has around 0.8 so why it is less in case of fats and proteins because the fats and proteins they contain less amount of oxygen when compared with the carbohydrates so that's why you will get less rq when compared with the carbohydrates now coming to the most important part of nutrition that is calories so how to ca- calculate the calories required per a person per day so this is calculated using three components one is bmr sda and physical activity so physical activity is classified into three types sedentary moderate and heavy workers so the energy requirement for the sedentary person is different from the moderate and heavy workers so using these three components we can calculate how much amount of energy is required for these three categories of persons now coming to the first component of the energy requirement that is basal metabolic rate in short it is called as bmr so how can you define this bmr bmr is the minimum amount of energy required by the body to maintain life at complete physical and mental rest in post absorptive state so the person should be in completely physical rest and mental rest and should be in post absorptive state so in that condition body requires some amount of energy and that energy is called as basal metabolic rate and the normal values in case of male, uh, adult women and men is so men require 35 to 38 kilo calories per square meter per hour same women require 32 to 35 kilo calories per the square meter of the body surface area per hour so according to definition of bmr energy is required even though the person is in physical rest and mental rest so why energy is required during physical inactivity so the person is in physical inactive condition but he requires energy and why energy is required energy is required for some vital functions like pumping of blood conduction of the nerve impulse gastrointestinal mobility 
respiration and kidney function so this function will not stop even though the person is taking physical rest or mental rest so these vital functions they require energy and the energy which is required under these basal conditions that is physical rest and mental rest and in post absorptive state is called as the basal metabolic rate and this bmr is calculated by two methods one is benedict and roth method and the second one is douglas bag method the most commonly used method is benedict roth method where the volume of oxygen consumed by the subject for a period of 2 to 6 minutes under basal conditions is determined and this bmr is affected by various factors like body surface area sex age physical activity environmental conditions hormones starvation fever disease status and drugs so whenever you are calculating the bmr you have to consider these factors ultimately these factors will affect the bmr and bmr when it is affected it affects the total calorie required per the day so and i'll discuss the in detail about each factor how it affects the bmr now coming to the factors in detail gender here the bmr is more in males when compared with females age bmr decreases as age increases so it is less in elderly persons when compared with the younger ones and coming to the nutritional status bmr is low in case of the person who is in starvation when compared with the person who is in well fed state body size or surface area here bmr is directly proportional to the surface area of the subject if body surface area is more bmr is more and body composition that is bmr is proportionate to the lean body mass endocrine status hormones will also affect the bmr for example hypothyroidism bmr is increased when compared with this hypothyroidism where bmr is decreased by around 40% effect of climate in colder climate conditions bmr is higher when compared with the conditions where it is high temperature drugs smoking coffee and tea all these will increase the bmr coming to the second factor component which is required for the calculation of energy and that is specific dynamic action sda so what is sda according to definition it is extra heat production by the body over and above the calculated calorific value so when a given food is metabolized by the body and the other name for this specific dynamic action is it is also known as calorogenic action or thermogenic action so what do you mean by this sda so whenever you are taking any food it may be protein lipid or carbohydrate each one has a particular sda value that means our body uses some energy for their digestion absorption and transport so whatever energy that is spent by our body for their digestion absorption and uh, transport or any other mechanisms that energy is called as specific dynamic action this sda can be explained with a simple example let us consider a person took 100 grams of proteins in the diet the calorific value of proteins is 4 kilo calories per gram here when he takes 100 grams 100 into 4 so it is 400 kilo calories of energy generated but according to sda of sda of proteins so 30% of energy is invested by our body so 30% of the 400 kilo calories is around 120 kilo calories so 120 kilo calories is is invested by our body for the utilization of the 100 grams of the protein so that is sd so when you compare the sd of lipids and carbohydrates lipid has 15% that means the calorific value of lipids is 9 kilo calories and the same when you calculate 100 into 9 it becomes 900 kilo calories so out of 900 kilo calories approximately 150 kilo calories are used by our body to utilize that 100 grams of the fat 
Now coming to the calorific value of carbohydrates, if a person has taken 100 grams of carbohydrate, the utilization of carbohydrates requires only 5% of the energy, that is it requires only 5 kilocalories. So out of 400 kilocalories generated by this carbohydrates, so 5 kilocalories is invested by our body. So the net available calorie from the carbohydrates is 395 kilocalories. Now coming to third component of energy requirement that is physical activity. This physical activity is classified into three types, sedentary, moderate and heavy. And now coming to for sedentary work, if a person is in sedentary work and let us consider for example his BMR is 1000 calories. Now in addition to that 1000 calories, so we require 30% of BMR that is 30% of the 1000 is 300. So the total energy requirement under sedentary conditions of a person with 1000 calories as the BMR becomes 1300 kilocalories. Same way BMR plus 40% of BMR in case of moderate work and we have to consider 50% of BMR plus BMR in case of heavy work conditions. This is how the energy requirement is calculated using BMR, SDA and the physical activity. Now I will show you an example where the energy requirement of an adult person with a weight of 60 kg can be calculated. So first thing is we have to consider BMR, physical activity and SDA. Right? So the BMR is approximately 1 kilocalorie per kg body weight per hour. So we can calculate for 24 hours as 60 into 24. So it becomes 1440. And the person is un comes under moderate work conditions. So 40% of the BMR that is 40% of 1440 it is 576 kilocalories. So total of BMR and the physical activity becomes 2016 kilocalories. Now we have to consider the third thing SDA specific dynamic action. So it is 10% of the total that is 10% of the 2016 kilocalories. So it becomes 201 kilocalories. So we have to add these 201 kilocalories to the total of BMR plus 40% of the BMR. And here it becomes 2217 kilocalories per day. So this much amount that is 2217 kilocalories is required for a person who is having a weight of 60 kg and comes under moderate physical activity. And the energy requirement increases in case of the person so that is in case of pregnancy they have to take 300 kilocalories in addition to this and 500 kilocalories in case of lactation.